Hey, loved one, this is a Devo to go. Quick devotionals for everyday life. You ever think about the fact that right now we are halfway through the first month of the new year, just about halfway. And some of us have New Year's resolutions and things that we want to do this year differently. You know, a lot of people, they want to be rich in the new year. That's my New Year's resolution. Well, do you got a plan to do that? You know, sometimes people want to be rich, but they got a lot of credit card debt from the last year. Well, guess what? It doesn't reset in the new year. You still got to pay it. You got to have a plan. And you know, one of the things that I do is before I even get into the new year, I pray, God, direct me and what you want for me to do. What is it that you expect from me? Where, where do you want me to be in the new year of my life? God, thank you for, for allowing me to come to this new year. God, I don't want to waste it. I want to read this passage to you. And this is in Psalm chapter 25, verses four through five. It says, show me the right path, O Lord. Point out the road for me to follow. Lead me by your truth and teach me. Lord, you are the God who saves me. And all day long, I put my hope in you, man. That is a powerful passage. You know, it makes you really wonder, what is it that drives us? Is it our own desire? Do you want to do what you want to do? Or do you really want to do what God wants you to do? I think when we make this our prayer, you know, right here, you know, show me the right path, God. You know, show me the road you want me to go. I don't want to go the way that the world goes. I want to go the way that you want me to go. And God, I know that you'll lead me by your truth and you'll teach me. You're the God that saves me. And around this time of the year, there's a lot of people that talk about cataclysmic situations and bad stuff that can happen. But right here, the writer says, God, I put my hope, my only hope is in you. You know, when we have that attitude, we'll go into this new year well equipped to have victory and be more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. And I'm believing that for you. Let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, I thank you for my loved one, and I pray that they will seek you with all their heart. They will seek your word, be in prayer, and Lord, they will look for your direction before they take any step forward. I know that when they do that, they will not fail. So be with them and strengthen them in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a blessed one, y'all.